Hey, four five Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Four here. five Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Contact Orlando. Twenty four point eight. Twenty four point eight. So long, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Get this call done here. Approach it's uh, Meridian four five Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Uh, One six thousand. We have uh, light uh, rhyme here in the clouds. Number four five Foxtrot Foxtrot Line Approach, altimeter three zero zero two, light rhyme at your altitude. Thank you. We're working on lower right now. Stand by. Okay, no hurry. It's time. All right. So, just reported the light rhyme. It's uh, not a big deal, but it uh, it should be reported. Four five hand. Foxtrot Foxtrot, Senate pilot's discretion. Maintain one two thousand PD to one two. Uh, PD to one two. Thanks, Foxtrot Foxtrot. And uh, I'm going to try to get the camera on that out there. I'm going to take it off my headset here. And uh, you can see I'm working the boots, and there is uh, some flaky, crusty rime that's coming off. Uh, and I guess it's uh, maybe light to moderate. It's, uh, it's coming off, uh, you know, it's, it is coming back. It's not staying off. So it's, it's a little more than just light. So I'll go on down as he uh, asks Number us to do. Number 8129 Delta. Down to uh, mm, 1210. Contact Orlando Approach 120.15. And uh, we got a minus eight, nine, six, nine, six nine. here at uh, flight level, uh, or correction, at 16,000. And we're now descending to 12,000. Uh, the ice forms first on the tail. And uh, I don't know if you can see it back there, uh, but I can. Uh, so we want to keep a close eye on the ice. And in this case, it's uh, just not a big deal. It's it's coming off nicely, and we're clean, so it's no no worries. We are, however, operating uh, the uh, the hot stuff. I've elected to leave the windshield off. There is some uh, light uh, moderate rime on the windshield, uh, but I I'm thinking that uh, we'll save that for uh, five miles from the airport if we need it, since the uh, the windshield is. Uh, you know, maybe somewhat delicate. I uh, just choose not to use it um, indiscriminately, and it's just not necessary right now. Uh, so there you have it. We're in the descent, uh, one five thousand four hundred, descending now at uh, I'll make it uh, thousand feet a minute, uh, down to one two thousand, uh, and we have uh, just some light ice out there today. That's what it looks like. The rhyme, of course, is crusty. Um, uh, the boots could probably use a little, uh, a little uh, treatment there, a little boot bright or something, to help the the ice not have so much tooth. Uh, let's bring that camera up here to the DV window, and there you can see it. Uh, just a little bit of crustiness, and uh, there's no loss in airspeed, so uh, we're certainly not. Uh, uh, the equipment is handling it just as it should. Now then. Uh, Planning for the descent, what, 4,700, coming down to 12. Uh, light ice, by definition, in the aim, of course, is that which, uh, when you use the equipment, it goes away and it doesn't really come back. 850 Bravo, uh, moderate ice, approach by definition, on one, one, eight, is point, that which five. takes continuous use of the equipment to keep the airplane ice-free. And uh, severe or heavy ice would be that which uh, uh, the airplane cannot keep up with. And that, of course, is uh, not a good place to be. So long before you get to moderate, you need to have two ironclad options. Since we're over, uh, coming up over, um, coming toward Mallet intersection over central Florida, I know the uh, temperature is well above freezing at the surface. Uh, you can see the prop heat is on and the surface de-ice is on, according to the enunciator there. Here come the boots, the top part, which is the last part of the cycle. And the ice is still... Uh, accumulating a little bit and flaking off uh, as quickly as it accumulates. So we're going to update that. Uh, we're going to call that uh, light to moderate. Temperature is uh, warming up significantly as we descend. we got minus 4 now in the uh, in the descent. 13,500 down to 12,000. And uh, the equipment is yeah, no, exactly working as advertised. Uh, once the ice starts sloughing off the windshield, we'll know that the rest of the airplane will be ice-free and tenuous and the unprotected areas of the aircraft. So uh, if we uh, uh, radio is getting scratchy, we'll have to call it back. Uh, 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 if the radio is getting scratchy for any reason, or we should lose the radio, we get this very nice, high-quality 
Altitude 1,000 to go. Well, thank you, Betty. Uh, Betty says 1,000 to go, and sure enough, 1, 3,000 to send Remember, 7225 Hotel Orlando Approach, Orlando uh, Altimeter 3002. If the, uh, the antenna is the more robust kind that you find on high uh, performance aircraft, uh, we'll have an easier time uh, keeping uh, communications for those, and uh, I don't expect any problems. But if we do, uh, we'll just fly the clearance, no big deal. And here we go, between layers now, I see a, an undercast below us, and uh, I guess it's time to switch to the, uh, the regular glasses, take off the cool shades. Temperature now is a minus two. Zero Bravo, K back, Orlando, out of here. I don't see any more accretion on that leading edge of the wing. That means we're probably not getting any, any anywhere else, either the tail it looks about the same as the wing. Altitude 200 to go. Oh, it's hard for you to see that, but I can see that. Thank you, Betty. 200 to go, and uh, the airspeed window, uh, correction, the altitude window concurs. We're stopping at 12. Power is set, and uh, got a nice coating of ice on the window. And you can see now, perhaps down the lower portion of the window, uh, the ice is beginning to uh, break off and, and uh, melt. The, uh, this is without aid of the windshield. I I'm just going to turn the windshield on high here for a minute, just so you can see what happens. Uh, when the high goes on, uh, you get somewhat of a, a tank mirror, so all the energy is derived and directed right at the center of the windshield in the tank mirror-esque kind of way. So uh, I have elected anti-ice on. And so here comes uh, the anti-ice is doing its job. It's that center portion that's going to clear first. Now, uh, as soon as that begins to clear and you see what's going on there, I'm then going to switch it to uh, to the low setting, which will clear the whole windscreen. And this is just to demonstrate that the anti-ice is not the whole window. It's this uh, inner part. So very nice, very well designed, I think. Four, five. Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Continue to descend now at pilot's discretion. Maintain, uh, you know what, let me take that PD away. Descend to maintain uh, 6,000. All right, uh, down to 6,000 now, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. For five, Fox, Fox, fly heading uh, 200, join Victor 3 southbound to Vero Beach. Uh, 200 to join, Fox, Fox. All right, so here we go, 200 on the heading. Set that up, get that going, and we're going to join the airway. Uh, Let's see, we need to reestablish that on the airway. Let's do that real fast here. That's going to be uh, cover the far intersection. And, uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, be mallet in this case, direct, direct, enter. And there we go. So we'll just go on over there and we'll arm up the nav so we join. Okay, so now you see the window is clear. Uh, and that's the inner. Let's switch to defog, which is the whole window and a lower. Uh, power setting, and let's watch the rest of the window clear. This is really a very nice system, but I encourage you to be very careful with it uh, because if it's used excessively, it, uh, when there's no ice on the window, it will cause the uh, uh, the window to, uh, dis to uh, distort some. And uh, there we go. Now you see, and can maybe even hear the rest of that ice breaking off. Orlando, Challenger, 425, November, out of so it's this uh, upper portion here that doesn't get cleared uh, with the, uh, the high setting and the lower portion as well. So now with uh, the ice uh, breaking off, we'll get uh, And by contrast, the, uh, the portion, oops, there goes a big chunk. That's pretty cool. Uh, see if you can see that. Uh, the right-hand side is plastic, not glass. Number two, Foxtrot, correction, November two, five, hotel. And it is and not Orlando protected. Uh, but we can Orlando pull on the defrost and turn on the vent to fog fan. Uh, five, uh, and add some heat to those uh, okay. to the post here. Radar and that can help it to break off as well. Right. Outside air temperature now is plus two. So the, uh, the other side should be covering, recovering just nicely. I'm going to go ahead and set up a VNAV here so I don't get behind. Uh, I'd like to be at pattern altitude, uh, say five miles 
before the airport. Uh, and then I need to check uh, uh, winds and weather. I believe they'll be landed to the west today. Orlando, buddy, what uh, do you want to verify that? that. So let's make this before uh, uh, zero. And at uh, 500 feet per minute, it's just fine. It's the best forward speed. Got power set to uh, maximum forward speed here indicated. So. I'll squeeze that back to about 650 or so. Orlando Challenger 425 Whiskey November. As we get down into uh, the 425 Whiskey November Orlando approach. Uh, Thank you, Orlando. I'm going to be So I don't want to be distracted and forget about that. Okay, so there goes the rest of the ice on the window. Positive uh, three degrees outside now. So uh, and we've got the uh, defroster on. So that's helping to warm up that window over there and knock off that ice. So as soon as that's all gone, we'll. Discontinue the defroster and go on with our airborne mission. Okay, then. Four, five, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. You know what? Just maintain your present heading. If you've already turned, then turn right back to uh, one nine or five. We'll go around this area of weather ahead. All right. Uh, I see what you mean. Thank you. One nine five on the heading, uh, Fox Fox. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of opposite direction stuff uh, the other side too. So that's a good heading. I'll get you direct Vero Beach in about thirty miles. All right, thanks, Fox Fox. Get on nine four five. Turn left heading three four zero. So we'll proceed directly to Guano and resume the same. There is some transit. weather out there. It's uh, it's not serious, okay, we'll uh, but it's showing up on the next rad. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my radar on here as well and uh, tune that up. Uh, switch to the radar page and get that tilt uh, adjusted, bring it into forty and uh, tilt it up a little bit. And what we want to do now, of course, is paint uh, one third of the screen with the ground and know that uh, anything that marches in is uh, more than likely weather. Looking like the weather's off to the left here, which is why he kept me on this heading. Let's uh, maybe take the uh, bearing port over here and see if any of this is weather. It could, uh, since we're in the descent, it could be ground and uh, city uh, buildings and such. We'll switch to uh, profile view here, vertical profile, and check that out. Uh, yeah. Some of it's rain, uh, about 25 miles, light rain showers is all I'm seeing, so I'm not too concerned about it. So we'll land uh, 7652 November 11, 9000. So with that in mind, I'm willing to accept just about any November 7652 November 11, 9000. It gives us, uh, ice is no longer an issue, we're at plus four. And as you can see, the uh, the wing is clean now. It's all melted off. Windshield is perfectly clear. So um, I'm going to go ahead and discontinue the vent fog, turn the temperature back down a little bit, and push that uh, defroster lever in. I'm also going to go ahead and turn off the prop heat and the uh, defog on the windshield. Uh, I'm going to leave pedo heat on. It's my practice, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Pedo heat has been implicated in uh, many of the accidents, and the NTSB, the FAA, and Piper Aircraft all agree that uh, this pedo heat should be on during all phases of flight, regardless of your location or the outside air temperature. So, in summary, even if you're taking off from Arizona in 120 degrees with clear skies, when you cross the whole short line, with the intention of bringing the power forward for a takeoff, turn on the pedo heat. And don't turn it off until you're clearing the runway. But it's a hot item, so it should be uh, it should be operated uh, with no delay, yeah, delay. Well, that's about it uh, for today. Nice flight. Come down here to Vero Beach for some pre-flight activity. I hope you're having as good a day as I'm having. It's great fun. It's a beautiful airplane. November 425, Whiskey November. My personal favorite. 7, and uh, I'll bet it is for November. many of you as well. Have a nice day. This is Dick Rochfort. Fly safely. Train often.